what I really wanted to highlight on this um, video segment is a brief history of, the, of sports psychology. And I grew up living and breathing sports. My father was a coach, and I was a top athlete in my town, and that's what we did. We played sports. And back in those days, 40 or so years ago, the only thing happening on the mental side of sport was advice to be mentally tough and basically get over it. And so there was lots of yelling and telling and pointing out mistakes. As time goes on, there's been some exciting new shifts about um, how to approach the mental training side of sport and what is it that actually motivates young people. And so what I want people to know about when I first started back into sports in the last five or six years, working with young athletes, I did not realize that there still weren't methods being taught. So young athletes are constantly advised to learn how to manage their mental game or be mentally tough without being taught how to do it. So what I began doing is introducing methods that I put under the umbrella of mental and emotional self-management skills. And the significance of that is they can begin to learn concrete things to do, to again, to relax their body and calm their minds, skills that they were never taught in school. And so at young athletes, as they begin to consider psychology and sports psychology, it's not done a good job of demystifying what they do. So there's still the belief that if I speak to a sports psychologist or a sports performance consultant, that there's something wrong with me or that I'm weak. So I really want to highlight and have young people know and truly begin to consider that instead of anything being wrong with them, having a conversation and looking at talking with a sports performance consultant or psychologist is about choosing to learn skills that you were never taught. And so what the significance of that is that there are now skills and methods that are available to be learned so that kids and the young athletes are saying to me, I like Part of what I like about what you're teaching is that you're giving me some things I can actually do, again, so that I don't have the bind of having to wait, wish, and hope that I cleared out some upsetting performances.